for me, uh, especially earlier in the career when you are really trying to make it, then for me basically is trying to work harder than anyone else. Flights out the way we go, Bottas gets away well ahead of us. You know, you need to have the right attitude to work hard. Uh, Valtteri Bottas, Valtteri Bottas, Valtteri Bottas! Races can go up to two hours. It's a combination of skills, strength and cardio. If I want to make it, I need to make this completely the priority. For me, while I'm in control, no fear at all. Does it hurt if it crashes? Yeah. Absolutely top speed there, 295 kilometers per hour. It hurts. I think my biggest crash was 52 G in terms of the impact. It does hurt, yeah. Whoa. Just always tried everything, always tried to find something more and uh, be the best version of myself. Sometimes it's good times, not bad times, but uh, I'm sure it's made me tougher. Now I have to show what I can do and uh, I'm glad I did. Hmm. And he wins it by a distance! Yes! <laughs> yeah, guys. Thank you. It's good. You need to be super patient because to get to the point, get to become even a part of a Formula 1 team, it takes a long, long time. I, I started racing when I was six years old, so it's been a long, long journey. And you want things to happen quick, you want to carry it to progress quicker than it is, well, always. So patience is one big thing uh, when it comes to your career, when it comes to driving as well, uh, to control yourself, your emotions. I've definitely learned that um, sometimes I've overdone things, like I've pushed myself too hard. I've, um, in terms of my mental and physical capacity, I found my limits earlier on in my career. It was only 2014. Um, I managed to get myself into this like overtraining syndrome. So just really, the whole body was like tired, stressed, I was not recovering anymore. I was training too much, eating too healthy or too little, let's say. Um, and I, I found my limit. And that, as well, that was pretty good eye-opener mentally for me. Like, maybe I need to have some something else sometimes than F1 if I want to have a long career. Because, yes, you can have a great career, but a short one if you don't take care of yourself. Yeah, having to be in the support role, that was hard to accept and definitely lost the confidence, especially towards the end of the year, uh, to a point that that winter I was this close of retiring from the whole sport and to walk away from F1. So, really? Yeah. So that was pretty pretty deep, and now when I look back at it, it almost looks and feels a bit like silly. Uh, but when you're in your thoughts and you know um, not in a good mindset, yeah, things can be tricky. Then I decided to go alone, not with my partner, alone to um, have a walk in the forest, a bit of like a hike in the snow, which I sometimes do. But I felt like you know it could be nice, you know, get some fresh air and. Just be wandering there myself alone, two, three hours. And that's when I, I don't know, I just found the confidence again. And I, yeah, all the things that I had achieved previously, like, you know, the, the wins, I managed to still get to that th that point. The pole, pole position laps, some good race results, all that just came to my mind. And I actually remember saying to myself, I'm the best in the world. Like, I, I have that much confidence, like straight away, like I can do this. Whether we're talking about small mistake or big mistake, let's say on a qualifying lap, the first corner you have this little bit of a lockup of the tire, you know, you lose the line a bit. You have to be able to forget that immediately because if you keep talk, talk, thinking about it, that I need to recover it in the next corners, that's your lap done, ruined. Nothing good will come out of it. So. It's a certain skill that you need in this sport to be able to deal with those mistakes, whether it's a small or big one. And I think in that thing for me, what's the most important is to be um, like self-honest and accepting it. Okay, yeah, I messed up and what's the best thing next that I can do? Uh, usually it is to understand the mistake, why it happened, how can I prevent it from happening again and then move on. Then don't look back. For sure, you have to be in the moment. And I think those are, again, the basic skills when you, what you learn from go-karts, from junior formula, that focus is the key. You know, you, you can't think of anything else, but your heart rate just goes through the roof because of the, the mental strength and the focus. Like you're using your whole brain capacity for, for that one lap. And um, that's, yeah, you need really strong head for the sport. Really focusing on, on the things that matter. So obviously anything outside 
yeah, you don't really think about um, who's watching the race, who's present, what's happened the night before, how was the morning. You have no clue about that, what day of the week it is, normally Sunday, but <laughs> and, you know, those kind of things just doesn't matter. You're just focusing on one thing at, at a time, and sometimes obviously you have to focus on multiple things when you're racing. But, example, before the race start, the only thing you think about is that race starts good reaction to the lights, then next thing is, yeah, the drive out phase, how quickly you get on power, then it's where to find the right gap, and it's just one thing after another. How do you handle that pressure? For me, it has become a bit of a routine. I mean, obviously, it's still super exciting, and uh, I'm, I'm just driven by my own goals, and that kind of tends to cut out all the outside pressure, and I tend to not overthink things too much, and I think that also comes with the more years you're in the sport, the more comfortable you are with the fact that it is only 20 drivers in the world and everyone is being looked into very detail, all your mistakes and all these things, and you just don't learn, learn to live with it and almost like not to care about the other stuff, and you learn to focus on yourself and your performance and your well-being, especially earlier in the career when you are really trying to make it, then for me, basically, is trying to work harder than anyone else. That that was always part of it, and and still is. Um, obviously, now at a certain point of your career, you start to have more capacity. But at, at some point, you also realize what is sustainable if you want a long career, and what isn't. Like there's a limit on how much Formula One can be, let's say, controlling your life. You have to prioritize things. You know, it's quite easy sport to overdo it as well. Like you start overworking or over trying it's a fine line so i think during my career i've definitely learned that right balance for me the hardest lesson probably has been uh, not to beat up myself too much like i think especially earlier on, earlier on in my career i was way too self-critical of course you need a certain element of to be critical enough but not that it actually starts to drag you down that yourself you start to drag you down I think that's something I learned over the years, over the ups and downs, that find that happy medium that, and also dealing with mistakes and setbacks. And everything that I'm involved now is, is purely passion. The easiest ways way to explain that all the things that I've decided to get involved with, um, I feel like I'm getting energy on working on those things because I'm really interested in those things. And instead of wasting energy, it's like giving me energy. And again, back to the sustainability in terms of your career, your energy levels. I feel like it's a great balancing factor for me, like when I have free time. I've always in, in life um, tried to follow my passions. 